Actinium, Wikipedia article audio. Actinium is a chemical element with symbol AC and atomic number 89. It was discovered by Friedrich Oskar Giesel in 1902, who isolated the element the same year. Actinium gave the name to the actinide series, a group of 15 similar elements between actinium and lawrencium in the periodic table. It is also sometimes considered the first of the seventh period transition metals, although lawrencium is less commonly given that position. Together with polonium, radium, and radon, actinium was one of the first non-primordial radioactive elements to be isolated. A soft, silvery-white radioactive metal, actinium reacts rapidly with oxygen and moisture in air forming a white coating of actinium oxide that prevents further oxidation. As with most lanthanides and many actinides, actinium assumes oxidation state plus 3 in nearly all its chemical compounds. Actinium is found only in traces in uranium and thorium ores as the isotope 227 AC, which decays with a half-life of 21.772 years, predominantly emitting beta and sometimes alpha particles, and 228 AC, which is beta active with a half-life of 6.15 hours. One ton of natural uranium in ore contains about 0.2 mg of actinium-227, and one ton of natural thorium contains about 5 nanograms of actinium-228. The close similarity of physical and chemical properties of actinium and lanthanum makes separation of actinium from the ore impractical. Instead, the element is prepared, in milligram amounts, by the neutron irradiation of 226 Ra in a nuclear reactor. Owing to its scarcity, high price, and radioactivity, actinium has no significant industrial use. Its current applications include a neutron source and an agent for radiation therapy targeting cancer cells in the body. History Properties André-Louis de Bierne, a French chemist, announced the discovery of a new element in 1899. He separated it from pitchblende residues left by Marie and Pierre Curie after they had extracted radium. In 1899, de Bierne described the substance as similar to titanium and as similar to thorium. Friedrich Oskar Giesel independently discovered actinium in 1902 as a substance being similar to lanthanum and called it ammonium in 1904. After a comparison of the substance's half-lives determined by de Bierne, Harriet Brooks in 1904, and Otto Hahn and Otto Sacker in 1905, de Bierne's chosen name for the new element was retained because it had seniority despite the contradicting chemical properties he claimed for the element at different times. Articles published in the 1970s and later suggest that de Bierne's results published in 1904 conflict with those reported in 1899 and 1900. Furthermore, the now known chemistry of actinium precludes its presence as anything other than a minor constituent of de Bierne's 1899 and 1900 results. In fact, the chemical properties he reported make it likely that he had, instead, accidentally identified protactinium, which would not be discovered for another 14 years only to have it disappear due to its hydrolysis and adsorption onto his laboratory equipment. This has led some authors to advocate that Giesel alone should be credited with the discovery. A less confrontational vision of scientific discovery is proposed by Adloff. He suggests that hindsight criticism of the early publications should be mitigated by the then nascent state of radiochemistry, Highlighting the prudence of de Bierne's claims in the original papers, he notes that nobody can contend that de Bierne's substance did not contain actinium. 
De Bierne, who is now considered by the vast majority of historians as the discoverer, lost interest in the element and left the topic. Diesel, on the other hand, can rightfully be credited with the first preparation of radiochemically pure actinium and with the identification of its atomic number 89. The name actinium originates from the ancient Greek actus, actinos, meaning beam, or ray. Its symbol AC is also used in abbreviations of other compounds that have nothing to do with actinium, such as acetyl, acetate, and sometimes acetaldehyde. Actinium is a soft, silvery white, radioactive, metallic element. Its estimated shear modulus is similar to that of lead. Owing to its strong radioactivity, actinium glows in the dark with a pale blue light, which originates from the surrounding air ionized by the emitted energetic particles. Actinium has similar chemical properties to lanthanum and other lanthanides, and therefore these elements are difficult to separate when extracting from uranium ores. Solvent extraction and ion chromatography are commonly used for the separation. The first element of the actinides, actinium gave the group its name, much as lanthanum had done for the lanthanides. The group of elements is more diverse than the lanthanides and therefore it was not until 1928 that Charles Janet proposed the most significant change to Dmitri Mendeleev's periodic table since the recognition of the lanthanides, by introducing the actinides, a move suggested again in 1945 by Glenn T. Seaborg. Chemical Compounds Actinium reacts rapidly with oxygen and moisture in air forming a white coating of actinium oxide that impedes further oxidation. As with most lanthanides and actinides, actinium exists in the oxidation state plus 3, and the AC3 plus ions are colorless in solutions. The oxidation state plus 3 originates from the 6D17 2 electronic configuration of actinium with three valence electrons that are easily donated to give the stable closed-shell structure of the noble gas radon. The rare oxidation state plus two is only known for actinium dihydride, even this may in reality be an electride compound like its lighter congener La2 and thus have actinium. Only a limited number of actinium compounds are known including ACF3, ACCl3, ACBr3, ACOF, ACOCL, ACOBR, AC2S3, AC2O3 and ACPO4. Except for ACPO4, they are all similar to the corresponding lanthanum compounds. They all contain actinium in the oxidation state plus 3. In particular, the lattice constants of the analogous lanthanum and actinium compounds differ by only a few percent. Oxides Here A, B and C are lattice constants, NO is space group number and Z is the number of formula units per unit cell. Density was not measured directly but calculated from the lattice parameters. Actinium oxide can be obtained by heating the hydroxide at 500 degrees Celsius or the oxalate at 1100 degrees Celsius, in vacuum. Its crystal lattice is isotypic with the oxides of most trivalent rare earth metals. Actinium trifluoride can be produced either in solution or in solid reaction. The former reaction is carried out at room temperature by adding hydrofluoric acid to a solution containing actinium ions. In the latter method, actinium metal is treated with hydrogen fluoride vapors at 700 degrees Celsius in an all-platinum setup. Treating actinium trifluoride with ammonium hydroxide at 901,000 degrees C yields oxifluoride ACOF. Whereas lanthanum oxifluoride can be easily obtained by burning lanthanum trifluoride in air at 800 degrees Celsius for an hour, 
similar treatment of actinium trifluoride yields no ACOF and only results in melting of the initial product. Halides Actinium trichloride is obtained by reacting actinium hydroxide or oxalate with carbon tetrachloride vapors at temperatures above 960 degrees Celsius. Similar to oxyfluoride, actinium oxychloride can be prepared by hydrolyzing actinium trichloride with ammonium hydroxide at 1000 degrees Celsius. However, in contrast to the oxyfluoride, the oxychloride could well be synthesized by igniting a solution of actinium trichloride in hydrochloric acid with ammonia. Other compounds Reaction of aluminium bromide and actinium oxide yields actinium tribromide. Isotopes and treating it with ammonium hydroxide at 500 degrees Celsius results in the oxybromide cobra. Actinium hydride was obtained by reduction of actinium trichloride with potassium at 300 degrees Celsius, and its structure was deduced by analogy with the corresponding La2 hydride. The source of hydrogen in the reaction was uncertain. Occurrence and Synthesis Mixing monosodium phosphate with a solution of actinium in hydrochloric acid yields white-colored actinium phosphate hemihydrate, and heating actinium oxalate with hydrogen sulfide vapors at 1400 degrees Celsius for a few minutes results in a black actinium sulfide AC2S3. It may possibly be produced by acting with a mixture of hydrogen sulfide and carbon disulfide on actinium oxide at 1000 degrees Celsius. Naturally occurring actinium is composed of two radioactive isotopes, 227, AC and 228, AC 227, AC decays mainly as a beta emitter with a very small energy but in 1.38% of cases it emits an alpha particle, so it can readily be identified through alpha spectrometry. 36 radioisotopes have been identified, the most stable being 227, AC with a half-life of 21.772 years, 225, AC with a half-life of 10.0 days and 226, AC with a half-life of 29.37 hours. All remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 10 hours and the majority of them have half-lives shorter than 1 minute. The shortest lived known isotope of actinium is 217, AC which decays through alpha decay and electron capture. Actinium also has two known metastates. The most significant isotopes for chemistry are 225 AC, 227 AC, and 228 AC. Purified 227, AC comes into equilibrium with its decay products after about a half of year. It decays according to its 21.772 year half-life emitting mostly beta and some alpha particles, the successive decay products are part of the actinium series. Owing to the low available amounts, low energy of its beta particles and low intensity of alpha radiation, 227, AC is difficult to detect directly by its emission and it is therefore traced via its decay products. The isotopes of actinium range in atomic weight from 206U to 236U. Actinium is found only in traces in uranium ores. One ton of uranium in ore contains about 0.2 mg of 227 AC and in thorium ores, which contain about 5 nanograms of 228 AC per one ton of thorium. The actinium isotope 227 AC is a transient member of the uranium actinium series decay chain which begins with the parent isotope 235U and ends with the stable lead isotope 207PB. 
The isotope 228 AC is a transient member of the thorium series decay chain, which begins with the parent isotope 232 TH and ends with the stable lead isotope 208 PB. Another actinium isotope is transiently present in the Neptunium series decay chain, beginning with 237 NP and ending with thallium and near-stable bismuth, even though all primordial 237 NP has decayed away, it is continuously produced by neutron knockout reactions on natural 238 U. The low natural concentration and the close similarity of physical and chemical properties to those of lanthanum and other lanthanides, which are always abundant in actinium-bearing ores, render separation of actinium from the ore impractical, and complete separation was never achieved. Instead, actinium is prepared, in milligram amounts, by the neutron irradiation of 226 Ra in a nuclear reactor. Applications The reaction yield is about 2% of the radium weight. 227 AC can further capture neutrons resulting in small amounts of 228 AC. After the synthesis, actinium is separated from radium and from the products of decay and nuclear fusion, such as thorium, polonium, lead and bismuth. The extraction can be performed with the noyl trifluorostone benzene solution from an aqueous solution of the radiation products, and the selectivity to a certain element is achieved by adjusting the pH. An alternative procedure is anion exchange with an appropriate resin in nitric acid, which can result in a separation factor of 1 million for radium and actinium versus thorium in a two-stage process. Actinium can then be separated from radium, with a ratio of about 100, using a low cross-linking cation exchange resin and nitric acid as eluent. Precautions 225 AC was first produced artificially at the Institute for Transuranium Elements in Germany using a cyclotron and at St. George Hospital in Sydney using a LINAC in 2000. This rare isotope has potential applications in radiation therapy and is most efficiently produced by bombarding a radium-226 target with 2030 MeV deuterium ions. This reaction also yields 226 AC which however decays with a half-life of 29 hours and thus does not contaminate 225 AC. Actinium metal has been prepared by the reduction of actinium fluoride with lithium vapor in vacuum at a temperature between 1100 and 1300 degrees Celsius. Higher temperatures resulted in evaporation of the product and lower ones lead to an incomplete transformation. Lithium was chosen among other alkali metals because its fluoride is most volatile. Owing to its scarcity, high price, and radioactivity, actinium currently has no significant industrial use. 227 AC is highly radioactive and was therefore studied for use as an active element of radioisotope thermoelectric generators, for example in spacecraft. The oxide of 227 AC pressed with beryllium is also an efficient neutron source with the activity exceeding that of the standard americium beryllium and radium beryllium pairs. In all those applications, 227 AC is merely a progenitor which generates alpha-emitting isotopes upon its decay. Beryllium captures alpha particles and emits neutrons owing to its large cross-section for the nuclear reaction. Bibliography The 227 ACB neutron sources can be applied in a neutron probe a standard device for measuring the quantity of water present in soil, as well as moisture-slash-density for quality control in highway construction. Such probes are also used in well logging applications, 
in neutron radiography, tomography, and other radiochemical investigations. 225 AC is applied in medicine to produce 213 by in a reusable generator or can be used alone as an agent for radiation therapy, in particular targeted alpha therapy. This isotope has a half-life of 10 days that makes it much more suitable for radiation therapy than 213 by. Not only 225 AC itself, but also its daughters, emit alpha particles which kill cancer cells in the body. The major difficulty with application of 225 AC was that intravenous injection of simple actinium complexes resulted in their accumulation in the bones and liver for a period of tens of years. As a result, after the cancer cells were quickly killed by alpha particles from 225 AC, the radiation from the actinium and its daughters might induce new mutations. To solve this problem, 225 AC was bound to a chelating agent, such as citrate, ethylenediamine tetracic acid, or diethylene triamine pentaacetic acid. This reduced actinium accumulation in the bones, but the excretion from the body remained slow. Much better results were obtained with such chelating agents as HEHA or DOTA coupled to trastuzumab a monoclonal antibody that interferes with the HER2 slash new receptor. The latter delivery combination was tested on mice and proved to be effective against leukemia, lymphoma, breast, ovarian, neuroblastoma and prostate cancers. The medium half-life of 227 AC makes it very convenient radioactive isotope in modeling the slow vertical mixing of oceanic waters. The associated processes cannot be studied with the required accuracy by direct measurements of current velocities. However, Evaluation of the concentration depth profiles for different isotopes allows estimating the mixing rates. The physics behind this method is as follows, oceanic waters contain homogeneously dispersed 235 U. Its decay product, 231 Pa, gradually precipitates to the bottom, so that its concentration first increases with depth and then stays nearly constant. 231 Pa decays to 227 AC, however, the concentration of the latter isotope does not follow the 231 Pa depth profile, but instead increases toward the sea bottom. This occurs because of the mixing processes which raise some additional 227 AC from the sea bottom. Thus analysis of both 231 Pa and 227 AC depth profiles allows to model the mixing behavior. 227 AC is highly radioactive and experiments with it are carried out in a specially designed laboratory equipped with a tight glove box. When actinium trichloride is administered intravenously to rats, about 33% of actinium is deposited into the bones and 50% into the liver. Its toxicity is comparable to, but slightly lower than that of americium and plutonium. For trace quantities, fume hoods with good aeration suffice, for gram amounts, hot cells with shielding from the intense gamma radiation emitted by 227 AC are necessary.